In the world of computers, not all problems are created equal. Some, like sorting a list of numbers, are relatively easy. As the list grows, the time it takes a computer to sort it might increase, but in a predictable, manageable way. We call these P problems, solvable in polynomial time. Then there are the hard problems. Imagine trying to find the absolute best route between hundreds of cities. The possible routes explode in number, quickly overwhelming even the fastest computers. These are NP problems, solvable in non-deterministic polynomial time. The crucial difference? While NP problems might take incredibly long to solve, a proposed solution can be checked relatively quickly. Think of Sudoku. Finding the solution might be tough, but verifying a completed grid is easy. This difference between solving and verifying is at the heart of the P versus NP question. It asks if we can quickly verify a solution to a problem. Does that mean we can also quickly find a solution? The P versus NP problem is fundamentally a question about the nature of computation itself. It delves into the core of what we can achieve with algorithms and computational power. Can every problem whose solution can be quickly verified also be quickly solved? This question has puzzled mathematicians and computer scientists for decades. Or are there some problems inherently more difficult to solve than to check? This distinction is crucial in understanding the limits of computation. P problems are like straightforward puzzles. They are the kind of problems where a solution can be found relatively easily and systematically. You can solve them systematically, step by step, and the time it takes scales reasonably with the size of the puzzle. These problems are manageable and predictable. NP problems, however, are more like trying to guess a combination lock. They are the kind of problems where finding a solution is much harder than verifying one. Checking if a guess is correct is easy, but finding the right combination can take an impractically long time. This is the essence of NP problems. The million dollar question is whether these two types of problems are fundamentally different or if there's some clever trick, some undiscovered algorithm that can bridge the gap. Solving this could revolutionize our understanding of computation. If P equals NP, then every NP problem could be solved efficiently with enormous implications for countless fields. It would mean breakthroughs in cryptography, optimization and even artificial intelligence. However, most computer scientists believe that P does not equal NP. They argue that the inherent complexity of NP problems makes them fundamentally different from P problems. They argue that the ability to verify a solution doesn't inherently give us the power to find that solution efficiently. This belief is based on extensive research and the lack of any discovered efficient algorithms for NP problems. The evidence for this is largely circumstantial, based on decades of research failing to find any efficient solutions to the hardest NP problems. Despite this, the quest to solve the P versus NP problem continues, driving innovation and deepening our understanding of computational theory. The P versus NP problem wasn't always recognized as a fundamental question in computer science. In fact, during the early days of computer science, Many researchers were more focused on practical applications and the development of hardware and software. The theoretical underpinnings of computation were still being explored, and the significance of certain problems was not yet fully understood. Its significance came into focus in the early 1970s, thanks to the pioneering work of mathematicians Stephen Cook and Richard Karp. These two brilliant minds laid the groundwork for what would become one of the most profound questions in the field. In 1971, Cook published his seminal paper, The Complexity of Theorem Proving Procedures, which introduced the concept of NP completeness. This paper was a turning point as it provided a new lens through which to view computational problems. He identified a specific problem, the Boolean Satisfiability Problem, SAT, as being at least as hard as any other problem in NP. This was a groundbreaking realization because it suggested a common thread among seemingly disparate problems. This meant that if someone could find an efficient algorithm for SAT, they could solve all NP problems efficiently, proving P equals NP. The implications of this were enormous, as it would revolutionize fields ranging from cryptography to optimization. Shortly after, Karp demonstrated that many other important problems, like finding the optimal route between cities, the traveling salesman problem, were also NP-complete. His work expanded the scope of NP-completeness and showed that it was a pervasive phenomenon in computational theory. This established a whole class of interconnected problems, all equally difficult to solve. 
The realization that these problems were fundamentally linked changed the way researchers approached computational challenges. The significance of P versus NP was further cemented in 2000, when the Clay Mathematics Institute listed it as one of the seven Millennium Prize problems, each offering a $1 million reward for a solution. This prestigious recognition underscored the problem's importance and the profound impact its resolution would have. This highlighted the problem's importance not just within computer science, but for mathematics and beyond. The P versus NP problem became a central question that bridged multiple disciplines, drawing interest from mathematicians, computer scientists and researchers from various fields. The pursuit of a solution to P versus NP continues to drive research in theoretical computer science, inspiring new algorithms, techniques and insights into the nature of computation. Researchers around the world are dedicated to unravelling this mystery and their efforts are pushing the boundaries of what we know about computation and problem solving. The journey to solve P versus NP is not just about finding an answer, it's about the discoveries and innovations that emerge along the way, shaping the future of technology and science. Imagine yourself navigating a maze. Finding the exit might be challenging, especially if it's a large and complex maze. You might wander through numerous dead ends and wrong turns, feeling a mix of frustration and determination as you try to find your way out. But if someone tells you they've found the way out, it's easy to follow their path and confirm that it leads to the exit. This guidance transforms a daunting task into a straightforward one as you simply need to trace the steps already proven to be correct. This is analogous to the difference between NP and P. In computational terms, P represents problems that are easy to solve, while NP represents problems that are easy to verify once a solution is provided. Many real-world problems exhibit this characteristic of being hard to solve but easy to verify. These problems span various fields from logistics and scheduling to cryptography and game theory. Take Sudoku as an example. This popular puzzle requires you to fill a 9 by 9 grid with numbers so that each row, column and subgrid contains all the digits from 1 to 9 without repetition. Filling a 9 by 9 grid according to the rules might require considerable brain power. You need to consider multiple possibilities and eliminate options systematically which can be quite time consuming and mentally taxing. However, once the grid is filled, checking if the solution is valid is a simple matter of verifying rows, columns and subgrids. This verification process is straightforward and quick, as you just need to ensure that each number appears exactly once in each row, column and subgrid. The same principle applies to more complex scenarios, whether it's optimizing a supply chain, scheduling flights or even solving intricate scientific problems, the distinction between solving and verifying remains crucial. Consider a delivery company that needs to find the most efficient route for its trucks to deliver packages to hundreds of addresses. This problem, known as the traveling salesman problem, is notoriously difficult to solve optimally. Determining the absolute shortest route is a computationally intensive task. It involves evaluating a vast number of possible routes to find the one with the minimum total distance, which can be overwhelming for even the most powerful computers. But if a proposed route is presented, calculating its total distance and comparing it to other options is much easier. This verification process allows the company to quickly assess the efficiency of different routes and make informed decisions. These examples illustrate how the P versus NP problem goes beyond abstract theoretical concepts and touches upon practical challenges we encounter in various domains. From everyday puzzles to complex logistical operations, the ability to verify solutions efficiently is invaluable. Understanding the relationship between P and NP is crucial for developing efficient algorithms, designing secure cryptographic systems, and advancing our understanding of the limits of computation. As we continue to explore these concepts, we unlock new possibilities for innovation and problem solving in our increasingly complex world.